Welcome back to What's Now. We are going to shift gears and talk about your health right now. ADPKD is a genetic disorder with kidney disease. Here with more information are some experts. Let's check it out. Our kidneys play a vital role in our overall health by cleaning blood, balancing body fluids, removing waste, and aiding in other important functions of the body. Autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease, otherwise known as ADPKD, is a rare genetic and progressive disease that affects nearly 140,000 Americans and could lead to kidney failure. Joining us today to tell us more is Dr. Dahl, a nephrologist who's here today on behalf of Otska America Pharmaceutical. Thanks for talking with us today. It's my pleasure. So ADPKD is both a systemic and inherited disease. Tell us more about it. ADPKD, or autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease, is an inherited or genetic kidney disease in which cysts form in the kidneys and then over time the cysts grow in size. This leads to an enlargement of the kidneys. So a normal kidney is about the size of a fist. Uh, someone with ADPKD may have kidneys that are the size of a football or if not bigger. And as the kidneys are getting larger, there's gradual loss of kidney function. So that by the time a patient with ADPKD is 60, about 50% will have developed end-stage kidney disease or kidney failure, which then requires either kidney transplant or dialysis. What are some of the signs and symptoms of this disease, and how is it diagnosed? So, Early on, there may be no signs or symptoms of the disease. This is a disease that's present since birth, and uh, people in their young adult years may feel perfectly well, may have no signs or symptoms. As people get older and the cysts get larger and the kidneys get larger, there are signs and symptoms related to that. So they may have flank pain or back pain. As the kidneys get larger, they may develop high blood pressure or hypertension. They may have blood in the urine. They may have kidney stones. So all of those could be early signs or symptoms of the disease in someone at risk for developing ADPKD. And usually the disease is diagnosed by some kind of imaging of the kidney. So either a kidney ultrasound or a CT scan or an MRI. But some imaging that shows that the kidneys are large and symmetrically enlarged and have cysts. So when should people see their doctor about this? They should see their doctor if they're at risk, if someone in their family has ADPKD and they have any of the signs and symptoms that we've discussed, or if they're at risk and have no signs and symptoms but simply want more information. They should come in, see their doctor, discuss whether or not it's appropriate to screen, discuss some of the new management strategies, and get educated about the disease. Where can we get more information on ADPKD? The one website I really like is pkdinfo.com, which has a lot of information about the basics of the disease, some information about how to talk to your caregiver, how to talk to your physician about the disease. And so it's a, it's a good one, pkdinfo.com. And then before I let you go, do you have any advice for someone who has been diagnosed with this disease? It can be really overwhelming. It to... absolutely can be overwhelming. And, and what I really would recommend is that um, you take in the information as you can. So go to well-curated websites, read up about the disease, become your own advocate for the disease. Um, really um, find a doctor who will work with you and discuss different management strategies that are unique for you. But really um, become involved and sort of take charge of that condition. Thank you so much, Dr. Dahl, for this incredible, helpful information. We really appreciate you taking the time to talk with us today. Thank you for having me.